Hello, everybody. Today we're looking at the most expensive fails in the world. Oh, is it just gonna, it's all gonna be car crashes. You know, they say that the quickest way to become a millionaire is to start a billionaire and go racing, right? So here we go. I think I know which crash this is. It's gonna be the massive like multi-decker pile up, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's this, oh yeah, it's this one. Oh yeah, it's this one. Of damage here. Said by the commentator, millions and millions and millions of dollars in damage. Actually a, a multi-decker. Just the worst place too. Like, there's no way that anyone would be able to see that coming going around the corner and, and you're just, all right, guess I'm in a crash now. SMH my head. You don't need to slam on the gas when you're in reverse. That was my mistake that I made when I first, like the first time learning to drive before I even had my permit and I was on private property with my dad, I, there was a tree behind the car and I'm like, what if the car magically rolls back? I better, I better hit the gas pretty quick here. I was still in reverse, I hit the tree. <laughs> Haven't done that again since. What, oh, okay, well, oh, oh no, it's coming in hot. Oh, it's gotta be a slightly older one with the Gallardo and the 430 in there. Yeah, that looks like it's, was that at some kind of like driver's training course in a parking lot? Wait, I, I know him, not her. I know him though. Uh, <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh no, dude. I'm gonna have to ask him about that. We've, uh, we've played F1 2021 a few times, um, and I, I haven't been in that car. I've been in, in their Koenigsegg though. Uh, <laughs> Oops. I mean, I feel like people have broken their phone before. At least the car is okay. They drive those cars so hard. They have so many miles on them. Um, they use them the way they're meant to be. It's all basically just car fails because what other things are gonna be as expensive on a regular basis that you could have a, a whole compilation of, right? Escalators. Who would have thought that a unicycle would break the escalator? Oh my god. Oh my god. Boats oh my god. too. You know, boats are even more expensive than cars usually. Yeah, I could never have a boat, dude. I could never I have a boat. I, oh. I love the, oh no, at the end. <laughs> oh, what a bummer. Uh, what, uh, I'm, s that is like, <clears throat> I'm kind of scared at just that protrusion there. That's like some Final Destination stuff, but it would appear I'm, he, that was supposed to be hooked onto something that just made a loud noise, right? Oh, wait, no, that was, that was the trailer. I, I got the perspective all wrong. I thought that was the front of the truck and that was, ah, that's, that just came off. It's roll, oh, uh, it just, Oops. I've actually seen this before because it's just so, it's it's so heartbreaking and and terrible. Permission to touch. Why do you need to touch? That's what I need to know, okay? You don't need to touch the thing, all right? You don't, there is no need to touch it. You're like a five-year-old. Like, I really need to touch. I see this thing that's really, really taking a lot of work. To, I need to touch it. It's like you guys will get a chance to have a look at this in a moment, but even the brake levers. No, don't. Oh, oh, oh don't do it. Brake levers, yeah. like that's the level that's of detail. Cool. Like the, the brake cables. One of my favorite bits is. I hate it. The even though I've the seen it, I just hate it. Why do you need to touch it? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> There's a part of me that thinks like. Could it just be scripted? Because, you know, it's gonna get more views if it's destroyed than just the clip of, hey, this is a cool bike that I built. So, I don't know, there's always that conspiracy side of me, like viral marketing, but, cause there's just, there's no need to touch it. We can fix it. <laughs> I just wanna, like, all those people are laughing. Did they have no skin in the game here? Like, he's the guy who built it, I'm assuming, cause he looks less than enthusiastic about it. Yeah, okay. You see something nice, I get it, you're the host and all that stuff, but you just don't need to touch it. <laughs> Does he, there, there, I, there. So this is a 720. Um, 
Why is there a Supreme sticker on the passenger side of the dashboard? Why is there a Supreme sticker in the car? I'm <laughs> sorry. I don't like to be judgmental, but I will assume that between people who own a McLaren 720S who don't have a Supreme sticker inside the uh, passenger dash and people who do, that there would be a higher sampling of crashes among the people who do. And maybe that is really wrong of me and I'm awful for making that, that declaration. Also, the sample size might be one. This might be the only person who's ever done that and the car is gone now. Um, but I'm just... Traction control. I know it doesn't sound glamorous. It doesn't sound f fun. It's your friend on public streets. There's really no reason to ever turn it off in a car that has it, which most very modern cars do. And the grand majority of the crashes that you see are because people turned off traction control, or maybe they're being dumb in the wet, but traction control saves you. Oh, we get the exterior. All right, here we go again. Bye-bye, ripping pieces. Oh no, this one. Oh God, I've seen this one actually several times and this is a Troncus. I've been there numerous times. I can totally see how you would do this. Like, ah, oh, it just hurts. Cause you, you even, ooh, you even see, look at the curb, look at all these marks on it. So many people have done this cause you don't really think about it protruding out that far and your you're, driver's over here, driver cannot see the curb and you're just like, oh, I can make the turn out and then, ugh. Sucks so much. Ugh. Oh no, and it's just like beached at that point. And then to get it off, like you'd basically have to do more damage. Oh, here we get. We had a little uh, intermission, and now we get to see the aftermath of the yep of the other car that got hit. Rip. Oh no. Oh sh. Oh no, that's so painful. Oh, LFAs are so cool and they sound so good. And you would be like, you have an LFA and you're gonna be like, yeah, I wanna, I wanna hear the exhaust all the time. Cause it's an LFA. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's so painful. Oh, I hate that one. I mean, this is just your, this, this isn't really a fail. This is just asking for something to go wrong. I mean, I mean, impressive so far. You can't be upset playing hacky sack with your phone on a dock and being like, I can't believe it fell into the water. I'm usually so good at this. This is an unbelievable outcome to the situation in which I'm filming it specifically because of the risk involved. I can't believe it went this way. Oh God. Okay. How is, and how, this has just gone wrong in every way possible. First off, how are you trying to get the car onto the bed at this angle? And then how do you not even like have the the brake on in the truck? It's like he's actually tr lifting the bed of the truck up while the car is just dangling on. What is going on here? What? That's it. Everybody, thanks for watching the world's most expensive fails. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like the video, sub for more, and I'll see you next time.